Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay uh, PS2. Let's continue with Formula 1 2006 uh, career mode hard. Um, uh, until now in the driver's table, I'm in the third position, tied with Raikkonen, 42 points. I don't really care if uh, I will get overtaken. Uh, but the important thing is getting wins and the French Grand Prix is a Grand Prix that you can definitely win. Um, this video may be very long uh, but because I need wins in the first season it's very important to win key Grand Prix like the Bering Grand Prix. Uh, I could have won as well the Monaco Grand Prix was pretty close. Um, and the French Grand Prix is another Grand Prix that you're gonna do a lot of test sessions here, a lot of trials, so you must be really, you must know this track perfectly. And uh, and to be able to win, you need to start from almost the front row. So you're gonna be able to overtake one and then getting the lead pretty fast. Um, so I'll get through the first two qualifiers and then I will explain what I'm gonna do. So remember, uh, in the first two qualifiers, you just need a time that's going to allow you to get through. So I will not bother, even if I make mistakes, you know, even if I can't get the perfect lap, it doesn't matter. The important thing is getting through. You can cut a bit those corners, the fast chicane the first fast chicane you can cut a bit, don't cut too much otherwise you'll get a penalty and this is the second fast chicane that again you can cut a bit and uh, gain a bit more of time and that's it, you know this is a pretty good lap uh, should definitely allow me to get through the qualifying session very important in those, uh, in the last chicane, you know those curbs, don't touch those curbs, otherwise uh, you're gonna end up, you're gonna end up having the car in the air and you're gonna lose acceleration, so don't touch the curbs, or if you touch them, uh, touch them just barely. Uh, to be able to pass in the last qualifying, I will need a lap of one uh, one fifteen low, I think one fifteen three, one fifteen four should be enough. wide but still it's it's a pretty good lap should allow me to get through see if you just barely touch the curbs that you're gonna just lose control of the car again 115 one so that's the end of second session and now is the last session so in the last session the car is full of a uh, lot of fuel, as you can see, 25 laps of fuel. That means that the car is very heavy, and therefore, to do competitive times and to be able to compete for the pole position almost, uh, you just need to do laps. And that's why uh, it is boring to watch and it's boring to do as well, but it's necessary because if I don't do this, if I just start uh, from 10th position without doing the last qualifying uh, there is a higher chance that something may happen uh, and while I'm forcing you know I'm trying to force the overtakes and I'm trying to gain that first position the first drivers are gonna start being too far away and then uh, especially when like the 
the driver in the first position gets away, he starts going so fast that it's very hard to catch him up. Even if you do perfect laps, perfect lap after lap, you don't have a lot of laps in the race. So instead of risking that, I uh, will just annoy you now with all these qualifying laps and uh, and yeah and I just I will not look at the times until I have like 17 laps in the fuel because of how just heavy the car is it's impossible to do competitive times so I just don't care I just need to do laps and uh, I'll go as fast as I can of course because in that way I will complete them faster and I will consume the fuel faster as well. So I'm sorry if this is gonna be annoying. You can skip this part if you want to. Uh, I'll probably be doing laps until like there are three minutes left, something like that. So I will doing like I will be doing 12 minutes of just laps. So yeah, I'm sorry about this, but it's necessary. Otherwise, I will be risking not gain, not winning this Grand Prix, and I can't have that risk. Especially because of the fact that you need wins, uh, because stronger teams are gonna offer you a position of a second driver if you have wins. So uh, if you don't have wins, you're not gonna receive any offers. And if you don't receive any offers, uh, you're not gonna you're gonna, not gonna be able to win more, you know. Because the stronger the car is, the easier it is it should be to win. So yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, it's necessary doing this. It's necessary to just spend time, consume the fuel, and uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I can't choose how much fuel my car gets in the last session and that's why I have to do this, you know? But yeah, let's let's just drive here. Uh, you can skip this part if you don't want to, to watch it. If it's too long, skip it. And uh, yeah, so. Actually, I think I'm gonna do is I will pause the video now. Yeah, that's a better idea. I will just pause the video and I will just start recording again once I finish the qualifying. All right, so see ya. All right, so welcome back. And as you can see, I'm in the pole. Um, I just uh, didn't enter in the pits once. I just did laps after laps after laps. And even if my time, final time is 1.15.0, mm -hmm. uh, the computer's times wasn't that great either. So yeah, I could manage to get pole position. And, uh, and yeah, so let's go with the race. Starting of course from first means that I will not be needing to do a lot of overtakes. Just the fan and then trying to not make mistakes. So let's go. Okay, from now on it should be, I should be able to gain some distance, so I need to go out of uh, the second one slipstream so that it doesn't gain 
uh, more speed because of me and yeah that should be it so and as you can see I'm really faster than them so I've gained already uh, a lot of room and that's good so that you know because uh, if you have some distance you can manage better the race uh, and you don't have to look at your mirrors all the time and yeah so that was it now the race is of course uh, try to not make mistakes in the first sector is where you lose because of the lack of power of Toro Rosso compared to like Renault or Ferrari but then second sector and third sector you can really fight back and yeah so that's it uh, of course starting from first uh, it's a lot better I thought I could I tried to do the, all the qualifying the third session of the qualifying because I wanted to start from like fourth or fifth position but still uh, yeah that was better than I expected and yeah so first position just a race of uh, man managing the race you know trying to gain time whenever I can not making mistakes don't cut not cutting corners and yeah very important to win this Grand Prix this is one of the few Grand Prix where you are even with a weaker car we are very very competitive so uh, it's a race that it, it can really be won I wouldn't say easily but you need to do like good laps one after the other pretty much like you're doing qualifying laps and uh, and yeah Yeah, if I can keep Alonso at that distance, that would be super good. And yeah, so uh, it's gonna be a pretty boring race in terms of overtakes because I haven't overtaken anyone. But still, when you're in the front, uh, you feel completely different. You feel completely different and you feel very, very good, so... Four more laps to go. The important thing, especially in the fast chicanes, is not cutting too much the corners and not getting penalties, and that's it. So, that's your main goal for the race. And as well, uh, after a few laps, you start dropping also the fuel, so the car feels better. The car feels lighter and feels better to push in the corners, so that's also pretty good. Very important here just barely touching the the last chicane curbs
That was also a pretty good second sector. I just went barely wider. Again here, careful to the curbs. Yeah, two more laps to go. I have a 2.4 seconds advantage on Alonso. That should be capped. So let's see if after winning this race I get offer a position. Especially I think like Red Bull, after you win this Grand Prix, should be offering you a position of second driver for their team. I hope, I hope so. Red Bull is not like uh, the stronger teams, but still is a lot better than Toro Rosso. So it would be easier for me to drive a Red Bull because I would have more acceleration, more top speed. So let's see if I get offer, or if not from Red Bull, like from Toyota or one of the midfield teams. Alright, 114.7, that's a pretty good lap. Oh, oh, the oil mark there. I almost lost control of the car. It wasn't, the banners weren't there. The flags signaling the, the oil mark were just too late. I need the flags earlier, otherwise I just can't avoid it. But it doesn't matter, this is the last lap. So, yeah. I've done, I've, I've driven, you know, almost perfectly, not making mistakes. Being able to hold off Alonso, hold off the pressure. Especially here, it's very important not to cut the corners. Maybe uh, it's better to like go slower, but going safe. And uh, yeah, so that's it. That was the French Grand Prix. I think I'm gonna start doing this uh, for a lot of trucks. I'll start, you know, pausing the video in the last session of qualifying. Uh, I'll, I will just do the laps. I'll try to qualify as much as I can and as high as I can. And then, uh, and then I'll, I'll just resume the video after that. So I could get 10 points here. Another win, pretty uh, important win. And uh, let's see if I can offer a position from somewhere. I hope so. No, I didn't got offer a position for anything. Okay, that's pretty sad. Uh, I hope that after the next Grand Prix I will be offered a position. Uh, but yeah, that was the French Grand Prix. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed and see ya. Bye bye.